Okay. Right, so Jibong. So they also sell all of this stuff. So, yeah, face costs probably not even 1% of what they do, but anyway, let's, let's, let's see what happens. Um, okay, so we've got Jibong. Uh, so I'm going to stick them into um, follow.net. Or click just click slash sorry click just click dot com slash follow click just click dot com slash follow if you want to get this for yourself. Anyway, right, so we can see at their peak they were doing three hundred thousand. They're averaging about one hundred fifty thousand now. Uh, most of their traffic is from advertising. Uh, to about a third of it is from people who already know them. Uh, only thirteen percent of the traffic is from you know searches. Um, only two percent is from search or from social, uh, only 1% of it around about is uh, attributed to email, and then 10% of it is links in other places, uh, you know, presumably directories or something. Uh, anyway, so that's um, so that's good, um, and there we are. So we can, you know, we could check out our demographic if we wanted to, um, to see who's, you know, who's the main buyer of that. I won't do that right now. Um, but we can see at the moment it's about let's average it out two hundred thousand. So it's about two hundred thousand. Um, where's my spreadsheet gone? There it is. So they're getting about um, two hundred thousand uh, visits per month. Uh, in this category, uh, it's probably not even one percent. But just to keep the math easy, we're doing one percent of that. So they're getting about. Uh, 2,000 visits a month interested in face cloths, okay? And these are obviously, you know, one of, you know, X million <laughs> uh, sellers of, uh, you know, face cloth retailers and whatever. So, you know, there's, there's 2,000 a month, you know, on that site, you know, there straight away, okay? So, you know, we we're, we're, we're pr we can pretty much see that the, you know, that it's solid uh, and then it's happening, uh, you know, um, uh, you know that the market is is uh, um, I select that there we are, uh, is available. Okay, so we know the volumes there. Okay, uh, let me just put this in here. Right, um, we know the volumes there. So we'll let what's next? Okay, just on the side. If we go to similar web, similarweb dot com, and we put them in, we can see that they're ranked uh, 995 worldwide. Um, they actually seem to be kind of Indian based, um, but uh, they're getting, uh, not sure I believe that figure, uh, anyway, uh, but about three page visits per per visit um, for about two minutes. Uh, most of the things seem to be going from India, but there is quite a lot of traffic from the US, um, and then uh, a little bit more from the United Kingdom. Um, same sort of figures as we saw in the other one. In that, you know, not much mail traffic going on. Uh, some people know that it's direct. 13% uh, of it is search. 10% uh, of it was referrals. We could see who was sending them um, the uh, traffic from there. And in terms of organic keywords, um, we could see what's going on there. And also, they must be doing some PPC because uh, there's also getting 11% of their keyword traffic or organic traffic or search traffic is from paid searches. Okay. Uh, Social-wise, only 2% of it are active it was social, but most of it's on Facebook. And then the second largest is YouTube. Twitter, not really doing it, but they are also on LinkedIn and Reddit. Uh, they do display advertising. Um, you can see where they're doing all that. Uh, again, quite a lot in India, apparently. Um, and there we are. And, yeah, it's many people who are shopping. Um, and those kind of topics and we can see 10 similar competitors straight away uh, in a similar style so you know we can multiply whatever we found by by 10 okay anyway that's just an aside on similar web um, just to show you uh, just about that one site anyway the one figure I wanted from uh, similar web is that they've got 1400 more uh, you know like that so 1400 is uh, you know top players not all the players but you know major you know sort of league players if you like um so that would be 
uh, that times that. Okay, so this is about um, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Two point eight million um, class sold per month um, uh, of of this item. Okay, so the volume's definitely there. All right, so let's do the next bit. Okay, so factor one, so the volume, we've seen the volume's there. Second one is, can we get market share? Okay, so that's basically whether, uh, you know, depending what marketplace we pick, uh, you yeah, know, whether we can get it on um, on uh, Amazon uh, or not. Uh, Amazon, hang on. Actually, one on there. So uh, I went to AliExpress to try and find, uh, you know, some products to sell. Um, I uh, had a lot of problems with the with, with the search words because you know they say that they understand what a flannel is, but they weren't, and they keep offering me towels rather than, um, uh, you know, face cloth. Um, but uh, yeah, if we could find uh, one, uh, one, is this the one? Yeah, this is uh, this is um, this is a fiber one, microfiber one, or soft fiber one, whatever. Um, and uh, it's hard to know if it's a washcloth or a, or a face cloth, really, but um, uh, let's pretend it is. So, you know, we can see that they've sold, uh, you know, that many, uh, you know, there. This isn't necessarily the most pro um, popular pro uh, popular product in this um, category, so we could find others. Um, but, you know, it's got um, quite a lot of votes there. And the feedback, it's got quite a lot of feedback yeah, 33 pages of, of feedback um, from buyers. Um, so uh, he chose it on the colour. So obviously the colour is an important thing. Not surprising, I guess. Um, and is he coming there? It's in English. Uh, no. Okay. Um, so we can see how many they've sold. You know there. Um, so that gives us uh, a little clue of, of how well it's selling and, you know, how people, uh, you know, are going to buy. Um, you know, they're, they're actively kind of, uh, you know, looking for um, this product. Okay, so if we look, if you're talking about selling on Amazon, uh, you know, this is one of the the uh, listings, um, 25,000 and odd in, in, uh, in beauty. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of room to go in front there. Uh, but, you know, how good is their listing? So the pictures are... They've got multiple pictures, but they're not very exciting. There's nothing with uh, a human enjoying it in it. Um, so the product pics could be improved. Uh, the product description is absolutely minimalist. Um, so that could be improved. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're aiming of keywords and stuff probably very... Uh, very low, so that could probably be improved. Um, they were reviews, uh, 22 custom reviews, so that can be improved. Four star rating, so obviously that you know you can compete with that from five, um, but 22 uh, reviews, so that could be a handle uh, or beaten, I should say. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm sure that the listing's not optimised for keywords. Uh, and if we look at the other one, uh, was it that one? I don't know if it was that one or not? Um, is that the one that was 217 in? Yeah, 219 in Calvin Kitchen. Yeah. Okay, so this is 219 Calvin Kitchen. So in theory, this must be a good ranking. So you can see they've got a good, um, uh, you know, a title uh, which is keyword. You know. Uh, got some keywords in it. Um, their description's proper. They've got some bullet points and they've done some uh, stuff. They haven't really done any formatting. Uh, arguably, these keywords, you know, uh, could be, uh, you know, beaten or more relevant, or whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, so they've done all of that. There's some bolding going on. That's good. So they've obviously made a pretty good job of it. Uh, they're ranking high. Um, and you know that's good but uh for instance this is uh you know they're aiming for uh you know cotton um they said cotton twice so that's actually not so great uh they put their brand in there which is you know 
unless the uh, well anyway arguable whether that should be in there um highly absorbent uh the size of it uh, twice i mean it could be better but anyway but sorry but so they're basically going for cotton uh spun cotton washcloth uh that's what they're doing spun uh, um, cotton washcloth whereas if you did um cotton face flannel again i mean that may not be a good word but you know they're not coming up for that okay so you could offer that product under that um name or you could have uh you know soft uh let's do cloth actually um okay so the well they do come up for soft face cloth oh yeah because they've got soft there okay but that's not you know you could probably um you know nip in there with that so you could probably take that listing and doing it but yeah but the main thing is is that they are selling uh yeah you know, they were ranked 217 yeah so that we they were selling whatever we said it was um Yeah, I mean potentially fifty thousand units a day. So there's a, there's enough room to uh, you know to go round, and you know you could probably find an angle in. You know the other words came up. Uh, in fact, we saw them in Google AdWords, didn't we? But um, you know there c there could be uh, you could go for different ones like uh, you know baby cloths, uh, car cloths, all these sort of things. Yeah, there we are. So um, you've got uh, you know different. Uh, um, you know, cotton and muslin, different, um, can't think of the word, uh, fabrics, um, different words, you know, washcloth, hand cloth, hand towel, bath towel, uh, muslin towel, muslin cloth, um, you know, so there's all these other words that you could get in, uh, you know, 440, whatever it was, uh, different words that you could go in for and different kind of attributes and, you know, for different uh, customers because, yeah, you could do it as a man's one or a woman's one or a baby's one or teenager's one or something about it. And then the other one we saw that colour was very important. So you could do uh, you know, some nice colours, pastel colours or strong colours, um, to compete uh yeah, with these. So you know, could you could you do it? Yes, is the short answer. Are you prepared to do it? I don't know, that's down to you. Um but you'd have to uh, you know, work at it because that's what e-commerce is about. It's about, um, you know, making, keeping at it until you, until you win. So again, these pictures they're showing them more as, um, uh, as, as uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, as cloths, uh, you know, wash cloths or, um, uh, you know, dish cloths, that sort of thing, rather than face cloths. So again, they may not have gone for, well, they've gone for face there. But yeah, you know, if you went for only for face. Then, uh, then you you know then you you could probably do better. And also, they haven't got face cloth together, so uh, they've got you know a different. Uh, in fact, did they say the word cloth? Oh, and in wash cloth. Okay, but not separately. So oh no, there it is. Um, so you know you you could do face cloth instead of wash cloth. So you know you could compete with those. And then it's just down to you know how you want to do it. But they've got two thousand reviews. Um, uh, so that's obviously very good, and a uh, four and a half star rating, which is obviously very good. So you'd have some, you know, some uh, work to do to beat these particular people for this particular, um, uh, you know, keyword. So you know, soft face cloth and face cloth they rank for, okay. But all of the other things, even that came up with, uh, no, it's not coming up very well. But yeah, if we did a Google suggest search. Um, for face cloths and, and all the other words. Yeah, there'd be lots of other um, alternatives that you could go for. So if somebody's looking for soft face cloth or um, holiday face cloth or, um, you know, printed face, well, not printed, but, you know, color, uh, I don't know what they'd search for, color, dyed, um, patterned, p pastel, you know, whatever the um, word that they might be looking for is, you know, you, you could dominate that percentage of that traffic um and uh, and do it and you don't need to be you know ranked 217 in uh, in beauty to sell um a shed load of face cloths okay uh and uh, the reason I picked face cloths is obviously they're very light to ship um they don't break um there's not much uh, likely to go wrong with them uh you know nobody's like to sell them back because they they've dropped a stitch or something or the you know the seam's gone you know there's nothing in them 
really. Um, they just need to be really good, uh, you know, cloth and, you know, they need to look nice and feel soft and be well packaged, ideally, or the advert needs to show them, uh, you know, nicely uh, packaged. Um, so that's about that, really. Uh, let me just see if I want to tell you anything else. Yeah, I mean, just one last thing about the price. So on AliExpress, you know, here's essentially one. Uh, you, you can see that they come in for about a dollar. Obviously, you can buy them in bulk and whatever. Um, but that's a cotton one. Um, and uh, is it actually for a hundred? Anyway, um, not sure about that. Um, but um, so I'm just trying to go if that really is it for a hundred. Uh, I don't know what the 100 is. I think it's just per piece there. Anyway, so they're, they're, they're whatever. I'm sure they're not 100, but I don't, you know, a penny each. But anyway, so, you know, they come in for about a dollar. And you can see that on Amazon they're selling, uh, you know, six for $11, um, you know, there. Um, so that would be um, uh, not so good. But then there are other ones... Uh, pack. Um, boom, 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 boom. Uh, I did see some more expensive ones earlier. Um, which I think I've lost. Uh, anyway, let's go over that one. So they're about a dollar each. Uh, you know, they're very nice colour, actually. Um, so that's 12 for you know, 13 bucks. Um, should be $30. Um, so these guys are probably expensive. That's you know one dollar for one, whereas um, over here, uh, no, it's ten, hang on, that's ten for the thingy, uh, I saw a bigger one, uh, and obviously AliExpress is the, you know, is the sort of, the, the dearer, uh, version of Alibaba, uh, four pieces, no, hang on, uh, because they, you know, they, they are kind of doing, you know, direct to, um, to the public, uh, let's just do, let's try that one, uh, yeah, there we are, so 10 pieces for t for three dollars, basically, so, yeah, you can see it goes down to, uh, you know, to that, so, you, you know, you'd buy it in for something like three dollars, yeah, typically three, there we go, um, they're quite nice, nice colour anyway, um, might bookmark that one, uh, so, you know, and there's a multi-pack there, um, so that's good. So I mean, obviously, I'm confusing the line a little bit because some some of them say car cleaning, and I'm trying to do it as face flannels. But um, I can't quite get AliExpress to understand what a face flannel is. Um, but uh, it's that sort of thing. You know, it's a similar thing. So I'm sure the price would be about the same. So um, uh, that not suddenly. Oh, that was the multicolor one, was it? Yeah. Okay. So. The multicolor one's a lot more expensive, so that's um, eight dollars for ten, whereas the single nice color was um, six pieces for three dollars, with two dollars seventy-eight. So anyway, so it comes in for about three dollars for six, and um, I've lost the there is, uh, and Amazon is selling it for about uh, thirteen for uh, is it twelve. Yeah. Anyway, so you you know it would it would work out some way or the other. Um, uh, yeah. Um, so you know that you'd be able to get buy them in for probably twenty cents uh, on Alibaba or something in in a bit more bulk. Um, and you know at that kind of price and you know shipping and everything, they're only thirty grams in weight. Um, yeah, that would probably work. Anyway, but so we're not talking about the product anyway, but. Um, you know, you can see that they would, uh, you know, profitability, uh, you know, you'd be wanting them to come in, uh, you know, at about um, a dollar and to go out at, at 10, you know, something like that would be great. Um, at least, uh, you know, be able to triple your money and cover the shipping as well. Um, but I'm sure uh, that you could uh, find a source for that to do that.
Okay, so that went on for a bit too long, um, but um, I think it kind of you know shows you uh, some things. But you know, again, it's about that's my amendment. That's what I want. Uh, it's really about uh, you know not about low hanging fruit. It's about whether you can shift enough units, uh, you know, and take market share, and you know, and whether you can do that repeatedly and for the long term, um, and make sure there's enough volume. Uh, in order to you know to do that, we can talk about the other things, uh, you know, another point or whatever. But uh, you know that's the main, you know, th uh, the main thing. So when you're choosing your business or your product for the business, um, you know, uh, that's really the factors in it as to whether you can, uh, you know, actually see um, the potential and, and whether you can get that potential. And obviously, we're seeing there's a lot of units, you know, going out. It seems to be very popular. I'm, um, you know, 217 in the, uh, in the whole of beauty where it was, is, is, or kitchen where it was, is very, you know, high. Uh, you know, anything in the top 5,000 would be high, really. Um, and you know, if we have our profitabilities there, which it should be, um, you know, I suspect that they can come in for like 20 cents each and go out for a dollar each. Um, you know, then you're uh, five times in your money. And as you see, what they did, uh, you know, they just bundle. Uh, you know, rather than selling them individually, they just bundle six together or whatever, twelve together, um, or you know, do some family pack version of it or whatever it is, um, to uh, you know, to 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 make the unit price um, go up. Okay. So that's basically that. So it's you know, I just want you to make sure that you've got the tenacity to do it and to pick things because you you know you know there's volume and interest there, and then you just find the angle. Um, to do it, so I can't actually show you this by tool yet because I don't get access to it, um, you know, in advance. Uh, so I'm waiting for it like you. Um, but yeah, what it's going to do is things like this. So you know, this is a website which showing the, you know the top 100 products uh, selling on uh, on Etsy, okay? And we'd have to go and check out what these were, but they've actually got the sales figures um, in there as well. Um, so this thing will kind of grab data like that. You know, I don't know if it's exactly that. Um, and show you, you know, what's selling, uh, you know, in their, uh, in their, in their chart, in their rank. You know, again, another one of, you know, what are the top ten sellers there. So, you know, once you know that, uh, you know, that largely they're selling, uh, you know, jewellery. It's one of the most popular things there. You know, then that's going to give you a clue as to what you should do and what kind of jewellery it is and all that sort of stuff. And you know, there are other places that charge, um, you know, a lot of information. Sorry, a lot of money you know fifty dollars for each one of these kind of thing um to get uh you know this kind of data for uh you know this kind of thing and you know some of this is going to be in the uh etsy module uh which is the one of the otos for the main product um but you know you, you can see that this is uh forty nine dollars per month to get access to this um kind of data and this thing will pull in a lot of uh you know this kind of uh you know data of of what's selling the most and how many they're selling and also what's selling. Um, so once you see what's selling, uh, then you'll know, uh, you know, uh, get ideas for what you should, um, you know, be selling in your um, uh, e-commerce stores. Okay, uh, and then if we just make sure that the, you know, the volume's there by doing this kind of, you know, analysis there. And again, the, you know, the tool may show you some of this. Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm, I'm. It's not too bad to do it manually, uh, particularly once you've got the, um, the sheet, uh, and then it just auto calculate. You know, so if it was um, two thousandths in, you know, whatever, you know, we could see that they're still selling a lot, and then we just do the economics of whatever, uh, you know, else was going on. Um, so that's kind of that, um, and you know, so it's going to give you the data, the clues as to what kind of things are selling, how much they're selling. Um, what kind of features people are looking for, uh, you know, when they buy, and then you just need to make sure the market is there, um, so you can do it. But I mean, if they're already selling with a competitor, then there's a strong chance um, that the market is there, and then it's just a case of whether you can, uh, you know, come up with an angle or find a way to beat these people or to beat them for a slightly different, uh, you know, thing. Uh, you know, just get a different uh, angle or different. Uh, um, demographic you know aim at a different um, thing you know it could be a woman's face cloth 
baby's face cloth, you know, those kind of things, man's face cloth, holiday, travel, face cloth, car, cloths, um, you know, lots of different options, hundreds of different options, so it's just whether you can, you know, find one, um, and then have the tenacity to work at it, and to keep uh, marketing it, so that it becomes, um, you know, a consistent seller. So, it was a little bit difficult with mine with the face cloth, because I, you know, kind of had a, a jargon mismatch, particularly with AliExpress, um, because there are so many different ways of calling it, and, it, you know, again, it depends what, you know, what your market calls it, um, and, um, you know, that kind of thing, you know, but face cloth should have been fairly, uh, you know, thingy, but, you know, they're, they're selling it, uh, all in one, you know, and that's where you could beat them actually, because you know they're selling it as a car cloth and a face cloth and a washcloth, uh, you know, uh, as they're showing the thing, you know, uh, you can, you know, do household with it, you can do dishes with it, you can do dishes with it again, um, you can do, uh, you know, clean your furniture with it, um, and you know they're not even showing the face, uh, you know, there, but you know, there's always multiple angles for it, you know, so if you wanted to sell you know, a washcloth, a dish cloth, then obviously you could go for dish cloth, you know, dish cloth. And again, they haven't optimised for dish at all. Um, so, I assume if we do dish cloth, it won't be them that comes up. No, it isn't. Um, and then these people, that's a really bad picture. Um, so, you know, you could, uh, again, that's not particularly funny. So, you know, you, you could certainly, um, in fact, there are ads. Uh, that's terrible, isn't it? So it's an open pain to be there. Anyway, so this guy here, uh, yeah, you could find a way to beat him. You know, they're, not very, they're not very appealing. Um, there are those people again. Um, I presume it's the same people. Yeah, I think it's... Not 100% sure. It's the same product anyway, but it could be the same people. Um, uh, and there we go. So that's it. So uh, I hope that's made it a little bit uh, clearer in your mind. Um, you know, if you know the volumes there and you can see the competitors are having success with it and you're seeing the angles they're using it of, uh, you know, selling it on, then, you know, your job as a marketer is just to find a better way, uh, you know, to marketing, to, to market it. Okay, that's it. See you then. Bye for now.